Hi, this is Kevin Wacknov again. I would just like to point out something that in mathematics and in personal science is interesting. You know, in math there are different coordinate systems, different way of different ways of um, organizing the material around the space you're interested in. Now, if you're studying yourself, there's different ways of organizing your way of looking at yourself also. You can use the grid system where you can go up, down, left, right, forward, and back. You can think of yourself more as like a nested set of cylinders, like you have your skin layer, your muscle layer, your bone layer, your internal organs, and then your the path from your mouth to your anus, the, um, the lumen of your body. So that's a cylindrical reference system. Then there's a... Um, you can think of another reference system like stacks of cards or materials built from a lower foundation to a higher foundation, like at the very lowest you have the subatomic particles and the atoms, molecules, cells. <coughs> um, then the organ systems of your body, then the organism, and then society, and then mind, and God, and stuff like that. So you can organize it hierarchically. And then another way of looking at it is like a fractal. You can say, okay, this idea um, scales up and scales down. So you can think of when you're searching yourself and searching the world, the idea of fractals or um, self-similar patterns at different scales. Okay. Um, all right. Why is this important? Well, it's important to know what reference system you're using and what models you're using because um, the model largely determines what you can say. The, the model determines what kinds of linguistics and ideas can come from it and sensations and experiences are you allowed to have for that model. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.